Canada is playing a crucial role in enhancing Ukraine's ability to combat Iranian-made Shahid drones by helping to modernize its military helicopters, according to a recent statement by Oleksandr Sysky, commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. During a press briefing attended by Militarnii reporters, Sysky highlighted that Ukrainian aviation forces are now routinely involved in drone interception operations, with helicopters being deployed daily to neutralize incoming loitering munitions. Ukraine is not only continuing these operations but is also ramping up its aerial counter-drone capacity. A key aspect of this effort involves international collaboration, with Canada emerging as a major contributor. Canadian defense firms are equipping Ukraine's helicopters with advanced systems to boost their effectiveness in real-time combat. These improvements center on state-of-the-art optical tracking and targeting technologies, crucial for detecting and engaging fast-moving aerial threats like the Shahid drones. We are scaling this up significantly, SYSKY stated. We've built strong partnerships, especially with Canada, which is enabling us to install cutting-edge surveillance and targeting solutions on our helicopters to increase their strike efficiency. Canada is well known for its expertise in high-grade military optics. Wescom, a prominent Canadian company, manufactures some of the world's most sophisticated electro-optical systems. Their equipment is already used by defense industry leaders like Baykar Makina and General Atomics. Canada's support doesn't stop with helicopters. Alongside Germany, it recently pledged to co-finance the manufacturing of Ukrainian-built interceptor drones aimed at neutralizing Shahids and other UAV threats. This positions Canada as a strategic investor in Ukraine's broader drone defense framework. Interestingly, the counter-drone fight in the air isn't limited to helicopters. Ukraine has also turned to small aircraft for interception missions. In April 2024, a Yak-52 trainer plane was used to shoot down a Russian surveillance drone over Odessa, a rare but effective use of legacy airframes in modern warfare. Russia too, has adapted similar aircraft for this purpose. The Yak-52 has been re-engineered into a light combat platform, dubbed the Yak-52B2. These modified planes are fitted with small-scale radars, weapon mounts under each wing capable of carrying up to 90 kilograms, and even shotguns configured to take out drones at close range. The evolving battlefield is forcing both sides to innovate rapidly, but Ukraine's partnership with Canada signals a shift toward more high-tech, precision-driven aerial responses in the ongoing drone war.